This machine, SLM stands for Selective Laser Melting, and what this machine does is it additively builds metallic components. So this does not replace CNC machining, it actually complements it. And what we try to get across to our design engineers is you can design the part how you want because additively manufacturing it will enable you to create things like hidden geometries, like this sort of matrix or conformal cooling channels in a way that was not previously possible. So it would take what you may have considered for CNC machining and will allow you to build the part exactly how you want it. We, we are not machining, so the, the surface finishes and the accuracy is currently not as good as machining the part. And we would say worst case is plus minus 100 microns, best case plus minus 20 microns, but this will most certainly depend on um, the type of metal that you're using, the scanning strategy that you're using, and the layer thickness that you are using. So these combined together can be optimized if you are making prototypes and then want to go to production, you can improve it. But as I said earlier on, we're not looking to replace CNC machining, we're looking to complement it. So any mating faces or surfaces that have to fit to something else, you can extrude the part and then machine that back because we are building in dense metal. So the properties that you get from the metallic parts is as you would get from castings and forgings, for instance. So the metals that we process through the machine would be such materials as titanium, cobalt chrome, inconel, uh, aluminium and steels, tool steels and stainless steels. And the industries that we would typically be looking at at present would be medical, aerospace, electronics and conformal cooling inserts for injection moulding industry. Talking of conformal cooling, this is a very good example of how conformal cooling can be improved on an injection moulding tool. If you look at this component, we have an entry gate here, and you can pass the liquid through here, across this spiral, and then out through these four holes. So if we interpret this into an injection moulding tool, we can improve the cycle time, reduce the cycle time of plastic parts, maybe by fractions of a second, but if you're manufacturing millions and millions of components, this can add up to uh, serious money at the end of production.